Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Amaryllis, and today we're going to be doing a stationery haul. I'm so excited. Um, I've actually been like kind of collecting these things over the last couple weeks, and I've been saving them, which has been really hard because I love my pens, my paper, my pencils, all that stuff. And I wanted to show you guys. So, um, this channel is ever evolving and growing and so the content on here is going to be true to me but it's going to vary at times i love art i love stationery i love beauty i love skincare i love hair like books all that kind of stuff so um yeah we're just gonna go with it i'm gonna show you guys these things that i really love so yeah let's just jump right into it we're doing something a little different because it is morning time it's like 9 a.m so we've got some natural light in here it's just a natural kind of vibe um so that's what we're doing i hope you enjoy it i hope it's relaxing for you wherever you are whatever you're doing um also i've got a new look yes we cut the hair we lightened it it's giving so we've got some goodies from, well, in this bag is some stuff I picked up from Hobby Lobby, also from Amazon. And then in this bag is, this is a gift shop that I actually went to um, in Hopewell, New Jersey. So we took a little day trip, we went down there and um, we just wanted to explore a new city. We went to um, an art gallery and to some antique shops, we went out to eat. It was just super fun a nice way to spend a Saturday with family just exploring a new town um, and it was not that far from us so um, I don't know it was just a nice time but anyways they had this really cool gift shop called Twine uh, if you're ever in the Hopewell area you should definitely go there they have so many cool things but I bought some cool stationery from there too so I'm gonna share that with you as well and yeah I'll also do some would they be swatches if it's with a pen? I guess I'll do some pen swatches so you can see like how the items actually perform. So let's take everything out. First, I want to show you guys these markers I got. I actually learned about them from Amanda Rach Lee. Um, she did a stationery haul a while ago and I was kind of just like, um, how do you say binge watching her videos i was just kind of watching all her videos because i was so fascinated and new to her content so i got these from amazon these are the friction colors by pilot so i got this pack here which is like just multi colors they're all your basic colors let me see if i can take this off so you guys can see a little better and these are actually a Japan import, which I was really happy about um, because Japanese um, markers and pens and all that, they're basically like where all this stuff originated. They're like the stationary capital of the world. They have the best. So I was excited to see on Amazon that these were a Japanese import. I would love to go to Japan and go to the stationary stores down there. Um, but this is as close as I can get. <laughs> so let me just show you. Sorry, I just had to. These I already cracked open um, because my son wanted to try them. He loves to draw. He draws every day. And the cool thing about these, this is the other pack I got. Let me open it for you so you can see those. The cool thing about these is that they have an eraser tip on the top. And so they write just like a marker would. They're very nicely pigmented, nice color payoff, um, but you can erase them. So I know that they sell them here in the States, um, like the pens, the friction pens, but these are actually the markers. So I bought both of these on Amazon. They were very reasonably priced and I will show you guys how they look. Also, the next thing I got from Amazon that I haven't opened yet is these Zebra Click Art pens. They're like marker pens. So I actually 
um, open them up on camera with you. I can't believe, yo, I've waited so long to do this. And I'm usually not that patient when it comes to stationery because I love it so much. Um, so these are the Click Art pens. How does this open? These are also a Japanese import, as you can see with the Japanese writing on there. So this comes with 36 colors. Ah, okay, so we've got like three packs in one. <laughs> so these are the three packs of pens. They have 12 in each. So we've got some here that look like pastels, more muted tones. So let me open this up so you can kind of see the tips of the markers there. These are like muted tones here. Then in one, we've got like bright primaries, like basic colors here. And then in the last one, we have, ooh, like jewel tones, like dark, more saturated jewel tones. Nice. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ooh, I cannot wait. So it's a it's a clickable marker, just like you would have a clickable pen. So I'll just pick a random color. As you can see here, you've got the thing on the top that you click. How's that for ASMR? How about again? Ooh, so satisfying, right? Um, so let's take a look at the tip. Comes out like that. And it has the functionality of a pen, but it is like a fine line marker. So I'm super stoked about that, actually. Probably more than I need to be, but. <laughs> um, yeah, I bought these because of the functionality and because I've seen them swatched and the pigment looks really, really good. And yeah, I just wanna create stuff with this, even if it's lettering or doodles or whatever I want to make. Um, just the variety of colors really excites me. I think this might have cost anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks, but if you think about it, that's probably a dollar or less than a dollar per pen. Uh, so that works out. And then obviously you're not going to use all the colors at once, so it's going to last you a while. So, yeah. All right, so let's move on to, oh no, I have one more Amazon buy. All right, these are the Uniball Signo pens. And these are the milky white and like metallic ones. So I got white, silver, and gold. And these are roller ball pens, but they write like such a dream. I bought them, them specifically for the black paper that I use when I use my jelly roll pens. Um, but the, the, the way these glide and draw, they're a little, I don't want to say better, but they're like a little more, they're a little smoother and have more payoff when you're writing with them than with the um, Sakura jelly roll pens. So these are really, really cool. I actually got... A pack of nine it was like I think it was like three of each color that I got which is super cool um, and these are also a Japanese import from Amazon I don't know I just feel cooler because they said they were Japanese import but you can see here like the Japanese lettering on it like it's not something you're just gonna find around here at you know Staples so it just makes it feel a little more special um, and if you're someone who's into pens and stationery, that stuff might matter to you. So yes, that's that. Next, I actually, this is a repurchase. This is the Sakura Jelly Roll um, three pack, the fine, the medium, and the bold. And I got these in the classic white. So I'll show you, they're still in the pack here. But it comes in the five, the eight, and the 10 sizes. So the reason why I had to do a repurchase of these was mostly for the size 10 pen. That's the thickest line and it's basically just the best if you're gonna be drawing on dark paper. Um, it just shows up a lot more than the other two. But 
I often let my son use my writing utensils because he loves to draw and it's like, why not? But he left the cap off of the number 10 that I already had and so it's dry. I don't know how to reinstate <laughs> the ink. So I had to re-up on them. Cool story, right? Uh, yeah, but these were, these were $4.99. So you can find these at Michael's. You can also get them on, Am on Amazon. I got them from my local Hobby Lobby. Next, from Hobby Lobby, I got the the Tombow Fudenosuke brush pens. These are a repurchase. I already have this set, but I just bought it as a backup because I do love to use those for hand lettering, for doodling. Um, and this has the soft tip and the hard tip, but these are the best black pens for lettering and even just for doodling. Um, the tips are flexible, even though one's a little softer, but you can get the thin lines uh, with the, you know, the thicker down strokes just very easily. I feel like they're beginner friendly. They're just a really good staple for anyone who's lettering or drawing or just needs a really good black marker. Um, these are them. Got those from Hobby Lobby. And then the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby is the uh, Pigma Sakura Micron pens. This is the fine line set. Um, and it looks like this. I also got this as a repurchase because the ones I have, they actually dried out. And um, I bought them when I was taking art classes in college and I started using them again and they were dry. So. Also, I think I was a little rough on them because the tips bent a little bit. The tips are really tiny, um, so they bent a little bit. I think I was just a little too rough on them. So now that I'm a little more experienced, I figured I should just re-up and get a new set and be a little gentler, but still get some good use out of it. So that's why I picked these babies up. These are also a really good staple for people who draw. Um, the ink is nice and black and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six levels of thickness here. So it ranges from 0.20 millimeters to 0.50 millimeters thickness. So these are also a staple for anyone who wants to get into drawing, line work, lettering. I mean, not so much lettering, but mostly like drawing. So that, those are all the writing utensils I got. Now I'm going to show you some other... Um, cool stationary items that I found from that gift shop. <laughs> okay, son, what's going on here? Hold on, people. Does son want to be extra bright today? I'm not mad at it, though. Okay, that's better, right? That's a little better. All right, so these are the things that I got from that gift shop called Twine. Um, and the thing that I love the most is this really cool notebook that I got. So I just want to show you this. Isn't this amazing? Um, this is from the company called Design Works Inc. And it's just a really cool structured kind of notebook. I just really love the color. They had it in yellow as well. They have like this really cool, like if it was a composition notebook, property of, subject, etc. Uh, Lord knows I'm not in school anymore, <laughs> but this would have been really cool to have. Um, so when you get into the front cover, it looks like this and it has like all the times <laughs> of the world here. It has like a star situation, a place for you to fill out your info. It also has this really cool ruler in here slash stencil. So I thought that was really cool. I'll definitely give you guys a better shot than that. Um, but then when you open it up, I just found this format to be very, very cool. So the inside, it says subject here, and then it's got the months of the year all the way across both pages. And then it also has the day that you can circle so you know what month and day it is. And then just your standard lines here. I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but it was just too cute not to use. Um, it has a portion in the back also for your important dates, which is really awesome. Um, it's more about the layout and the design that really attracted me to this. But I just, 
it's just beautiful I don't know what else to say but I'm gonna give you guys definitely gonna give you guys some better shots of that um, also I bought this which I am so excited for this is from rifle paper company they often have in certain gift shops they have like the rifle paper company um prints they have like those vintage floral kind of prints on their books and i got a three pack of those and it's just how adorable is this just want to make sure it's gonna focus is it focused are we focused okay so we've got the beautiful flowers and this cute little tie here like can you even it's the botanical notebook collection there are three books in here as you can see so I will open them up and show you exactly what they look like but these are standard notebooks you just have lines they're good for obviously taking notes uh, you can use them as journals um, I would use something thin like this maybe as a travel journal or to take to church when I want to take notes or just somewhere where I need to travel because they're so thin and compact uh, but there's just they're just so pretty um so that's why i bought them i didn't need a notebook but it was just pretty so the next thing i got from there is this bookmark <laughs> i was so astonished to see a bookmark but it is a beautiful bookmark it is like a really thick cardstock and look what it says on it book nerd can you i don't even want to take it out but can we like look at how pretty that is i love it i love it and it's from steel pedal press it's an urban letterpress boutique in chicago and it says it was printed by hand but this is a very sturdy bookmark and if you're anything like me you're in between a few books at the same time and it's handy to have more than one bookmark so this was just i don't know very precious just super cute and I know I'm gonna get a lot of good use out of it and this was definitely less than than five dollars so I'm so excited about that okay so the last things I got were these two trinket trinket trays these are not stationary items but they can be used for stationary items um, and I'm going to be using them on my desk I'm gonna be using them on my desk which is why I want to show them to you uh, but this is the first trinket tray from Danica Studio, and it looks like this. I mean, can we? Can we? It is so beautiful. So you can put paper clips in here, you can put notes in here, you can put jewelry in here, you can put whatever you want in here if you have little sticky tabs that you need that you collect you can put them here you can display maybe you know small rolls of washi tape like the possibilities are endless honestly so like everyone let me stop making noise everyone needs a trinket tray thank you and i think it was like seven bucks and then i saw this other one that i couldn't pass up because Sometimes there are just things that resonate with you. They just call you by name and you have to buy them. You don't have to buy them, but I did. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cute. Uh, this is Ori Originals Happy Products for Good People. And this is this, uh, I can't. How, uh, I just, this is so pretty isn't it so like i said rings erasers sticky tabs paper clips tacks anything you want to carry in here you can so that's the other item i got from that gift shop okay so we're going to get into the last two items that i just picked up from amazon um, I didn't include it in that first section because that was all the writing utensils, but these are just some cool stationary things that I thought I should share. So I got these cute little tags um, and I bought these purposely for a book that I'm reading because I don't want to highlight it. I just want to put a tab on the page. 
um, that I want to remember because it's for a book club that I'm in. And I don't know, the book is just so beautiful that I don't, like the book has these really nice illustrations and it's just a really beautiful book. It's like a keepsake item. It's also a really good read, but I just didn't want to mark it up with highlights. So I'm going to use these little tabs. Let me show you here. Oh my God, they're so cute. And the colorways are just so pretty. I love this pastel situation. So these are little sticky tabs. You can use them to mark pages. You can use them in files. You can use them in books or wherever you see fit, honestly. They could even be used as just tiny little notes. Um, they are adhesive and they have little cacti on them, so. How cute, right? Cute. <laughs> um, these were definitely less than five bucks and there are a lot of them. So it's gonna take me a while to actually get through them. But yeah, there's those. And then this is my last item. I don't know if I would consider this stationary, but it is for books. I don't know, but I'm gonna throw it in here because it's a super useful item. And this is the third or fourth time that I've purchased these these are bookmarks and they look like this and they are magnetic so they come in really cool shades i've already purchased the blue set and the pink set and i got this kind of emerald green set and i don't know what else the other one is but these are very inexpensive you can find them on amazon and the cool thing about these is that they are a magnetic closure so you literally just place them over the page and you clip them and that's it your page is marked nothing's gonna fall out it's very discreet it's not bulky so your book still closes shut the way it's supposed to these are just the best things ever if you are a book reader or if you like to mark your pages in any way even if you are like i don't know whatever kind of book or file or papers that you want to group together you can do it with this without a staple um, cause it can actually hold on to a few pages. So these are just super multi-purpose. That's why I included it in here because you can use it with your stationery as an accessory, or you can use it with your books. So, and if you're anything like me in your stationery section back here, this is my creative section. I also have books. So everything is kind of intermingled in my creative space. So it's just good to have these around and you can throw them in your trinket tray. Hello. So that concludes my stationery haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm super excited to put this video out because I've been waiting forever. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any of these items, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know what you think of them. Um, and any other stationery, creative, art type of videos that you might wanna see, let me know because I think I'm gonna head more in that direction as I go along, but I'm not gonna forget the things I love, like beauty and skincare, of course, but just gotta be true to myself, okay? So thank you so much for coming on this journey along with me. I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you are at peace and that you were able to find rest and you were able to relate here in this time, in this moment, in this space. God bless you, I love you. Have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.